Commander, are you all right? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I do not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call, so normally I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Good catch. If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer. Good catch. Thank you, Commander. Primark seems like a good guy. He'll get his people moving in the right direction. He's a good guy with his homeworld on fire. All he committed to is this war summit. A war summit we have to hope. Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship, and for going along with this plan. Gareth said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibrations. Sounds like Garrus. I'm sorry to say the Asari Counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right, but there'll be a lot more blood. Real blood, if we don't try. When you put it that way. The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Palavan. And mine with Earth. Hey, Commander, check out my co-pilot! So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? <laughs> Come on, Commander, don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was gonna install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Look at that! I would've baked a cake. I am right here, Jack. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions, if I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears... adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. I'll be over here, flying the ship. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. 
I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer? Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. Very well. I will keep you informed. Commander, Admiral Hackett is available in the war room on VidCom. Just our way of welcoming you back, Flight Lieutenant. Uh, yes ma'am. Requesting docking permission? Docking permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. Shepard. When I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane. Good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend who got hurt protecting me. Ashley. The dark-haired human woman in intensive care. She will be starting physical therapy with my class soon. That's her. If she means something to you, then I will help how I can. As long as she is here, consider her under my protection. I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Keppel's Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. I'm back on the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side. And I am not at mine. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. It is not your time, but it is mine. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. I'd like an answer, Lieutenant Commander. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you, now more than ever. I still need time. You'll have my answer soon, I promise. 
I look forward to it. Shepard? Odina, I got your email. Made your decision yet? On becoming a Spectre? Not yet. It's an honor and all. But I don't know. I need to think about it some more. It's a big decision. Smart to give it some thought. Here, I picked this up for you. Figured you had some downtime. Thanks. That's sweet. I've been climbing the walls. How are you doing? Good, considering. The nurse said you checked in on me earlier. Still out cold, I guess. We didn't have time to talk. I thought maybe if you were up for it. Yeah, I wasn't sure you wanted to. You were pretty clear on Mars about where things stood. What do you mean? You're not a part of Cerberus anymore. Case closed. Full stop. It's the truth. Okay. You cut all ties. I accept that. But where do we stand, Shepard? Did we cut all ties? A lot of time has passed, Ash. Maybe we should consider this a fresh start for both of us. So... that's it? Let's just see what happens, okay? I'm a big girl. Wasn't sure what I was expecting, really. Just focus on getting better. Believe me, this is the last place I want to be. I better see you up and around next time. Shepard, wait. There's one more thing. I wasn't sure if I should mention it. What is it? I have family back on Earth. I... I haven't heard from them. It's making me crazy. But I know you're busy, Shepard. We can talk later. I've got time to talk. Who's back on Earth? Mom plus my three sisters. The youngest, Sarah, was away on her honeymoon. Married a military man, Thomas. He got called back in and she was stuck alone. She called me. It's been pretty tough. I imagine. I was always there to protect them growing up. Even when I was off on tour, they knew they could talk to me. I told her to come to the Citadel. We could wait for news together. I should get back to it. Take care of yourself. You too, Shepard. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the V.I. in it. Having a V.I. drive your body isn't life. Are Reaper husks alive? You did not just say that. But it's the same thing, isn't it? He walks and makes noises just like they do. Fine. I guess I'm just surrounded by zombies. Thanks. Took her long enough to get the hint. Unstranded in enemy territory. The Lao may still be alive. I fully understand the situation. Of course, I read through the names of the dead every day, but. Please! Please, a few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Someone in your family is M.I.A.? My son, Bilal. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Palau's alive, we want him home. 
If he's dead, then... then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. Commander Shepard, John Dumbau, Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet gray market trade relationships with the Batarians, and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. I've been after her for years. Kasumi? You're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Solarian. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. What do you need me to do? The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting. I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. So, remember when you helped me get KG's Grey Box from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war? Information like an Alliance Black Ops raid on a Batarian research lab? I figured it wouldn't hurt to leak it now. Especially if there really is an indoctrinated jellyfish out there. Crazier than usual. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. Thank mm -hmm. you. 